In Fusion, sometimes when you're working in an assembly, it can be hard to manage the entire timeline. It can be hard to understand all the different components and which one is being worked on, which one's active, and which features impact each component. Luckily, there's a tool to make this easier. You can use this shortcut, Shift N. And what this does is it activates two things at once for you, making a timeline visible per color. So everything that is this kind of kind of red pink salmon color is this sketch extrude and fill it. Those all impact this color. And if you go to the browser, you'll see this pink salmon color here. I'm going to turn this off shift in and that's how you can quickly toggle it. And to get there with the menus, you're going to do two things. Come down to the gear on the bottom right and choose component color swatch. That is applying to the timeline in the browser. It is not applying to the actual model workspace to your to your visuals. We're going to go up to inspect and choose display component color. And that's going to align a color to your design that works with the model browser and the timeline. If you have a simple design apart, I've got a sketch, an extrude, again, a fillet. You can use this color operation that will apply automatically. If I hit shift in, it's going to turn off. This is the default gray I'm typically working in. And if I want to hit that shift in, I can use this to automatically color it. If I were to extrude a separate body, not join it, but new body, that separate body is still going to have the same color because you can see that it applies at the component level. As soon as I add a brand new component, that is going to get its own color. Now that I have a separate, com a new component and I add some features for it, it's going to get its own color scheme automatically. And just a friendly reminder, this color scheme has nothing to do with your appearance. You're allowed to apply appearances to components, faces, bodies, and this is for aesthetics so that your model looks great. This is also going to get applied to your renderings, but the shift in technique has nothing to do with that renderings and aesthetics. It's all for making designing just a little bit easier to understand between your different components and the timeline. Hope that helps. See you guys in the next video.